I mean, not RT, uh, um, LR. Yeah, that's the fast one. I recommend using that for chases. And by the way, I lowered my voice to 90%, it used to be 100%. So hopefully, you can hear what's going on in the gameplay video. Yeah, um, so yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. That's the LR. That's boss number two. I forget what his name is. Oh yeah, the Shocker. He's the easiest boss in the game. I mean, isn't that weird? I mean, boss one is harder to defeat than boss two. Yeah. Yeah, so really all you have to do is be able to jump around and just press the L button, which which you shoot web at him. And if you get hit, don't worry, it does no damage, barely does any damage to you. So, yeah. Nothing bad will happen. You, I mean, if, try, if you lose to this guy, you, uh, no offense, but you suck so much if you lose to this guy. You can't lose this guy, he's so easy to your feet. But yeah, now here's the first city event you have to do. You have to have to um, rescue people from thugs like these guys. So, yeah. I'll, like I said, just jump and press the Y button and you will kick ass. You will beat them without a cinch. Oh yeah, and, and once you knock a guy down, he'll have the little web symbol, you have to press the L button to strap him in web so he doesn't get away or recover his health. And every time you get, and every time you finish the city event, you get uh, a little health bar thing, but you won't get one now because you're not done with the city event yet. Well, this is actually, this does count as a city, oh, this is, this is a city event. But it, does, it won't count like towards the whole game because it's just like showing you what to do with the city event. So yeah. Yeah, trust me. I mean, you city events are easy. You will never, most likely never lose to a city event unless you have extreme low health. This guy was a bitch if he, he wouldn't drop. And he finally did. So yeah. Now... Um, we have to do our city goals, which consists of city goal, I mean city, yeah, city goals, which consists of, oh wait, yeah, right right here it's going to say why my thing is corrupted and I have to, like, delete it. So yeah, the whole point is I can't save in this game. See, it's corrupted. Yeah, so yeah, city goals consist of racing medals, where you have to race stuff and you'll get, like, bronze, silver, or gold medal, and you can beat your scores. I never really care for that. Next one is combat tours, which will start doing like halfway through the game. Just where you go on a uh, tour and, and you have to get rid of thugs. And I think it happens five times for each tour. And the next one is co city events where you just get rid of thugs and like help people and stuff. And the fourth one, I forget. Oh yeah, I'm um, getting tokens. Uh, yeah, now this is Johnny Storm. Uh, you do see him again in the game besides this point, but I, it's only for racing, and I don't want to, I really don't care for racing him. But the first time you have to beat him, no matter what, you must beat him. First time, and he's so easy, and the music is so cool too when you're racing. Yeah, so Johnny Storm thinks that he's so cool because he's fire and he can beat you because he can go super fast. And you're Spider Man, and you have to kick his ass. And racing, not fighting. Okay, isn't this cool music? Hopefully you can hear it. Yeah, and like throughout the whole entire battle, Spider-Man just ins just keeps on insulting Johnny Storm. It's funny. He's saying like, if he played video games, he would make those turns better. Uh, and he's saying how like Superman is faster than you, which is actually pretty true. Uh, he says he's just insulting him, and he's making references. He's making w w references from like other comic book heroes, like The Incredible Hulk. 
Batman, Superman, as you just said, and like other unknown superheroes that I have that I have not heard of. It's pretty funny, actually. It's like the Hulk actually exists in Spider-Man world. Or they're just comic books, just like Spider-Man is. And that part I actually miss it, so that's kind of sad, but I still beat him. Oops, I just spoiled it. You see what I'm doing right now? That's the fastest way for races. I mean, you go so fast, and the other way you can, but you just, you, you just go slower. So yeah, as you can see, I'm massacring him. If you saw my previous One Piece videos, I mentioned the word, don't rape him, I'm massacre. Yeah, I'm raping Johnny Storm. It's kind of hard to do that since he's like on fire and all, but yeah, I'm massacring Johnny Storm right now. Massacring. Yeah, and then like right there, I like utterly fail, but yeah. And now here, I just beat him. Yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man just said, now I own you. He's like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna go and cut myself in the corner. Yep, so now you um, unlocked crap. I don't really like races, but you have to do races. Before. Yeah, there's the first token. Um, there's an unlockable for this game at the very end of the game, which you beat it. If you collect every single token and beat every single race on gold medals and collect everything in the game and get the perfect best score in all races, you unlock um, the final unlockable, which is the symbiote suit, but uh, the symbiote Spider-Man version. So you're basically Venom, but in the Spider-Man version. And is it worth it? I really don't think it's worth it. I mean, the only thing that's different is that you're Spider-Man in a black suit, and everything else is the same. So um, I've never done it myself, and trust me, uh, it would take forever. Like my friends have done it, and they said it takes forever to do. And they say it's not really worth it, but my friend said that he had, he had nothing to do, so he just decided to collect every token. So yeah, and I hope I'm the first person to do a walkthrough on this. I mean, if I'm not, that would suck. But it would it, just be nice to be the first person to do a walkthrough on this. I hope I am. I really do. I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna do my most likely not gonna do my next walkthrough till next week. Um, you see, I got all the stuff. Not a new story is unlockable. And that green thing right there that's on the map is where you have to go. And I hate when this happens, like, uh, there's going to be two main points where you have to go. You have to go to the Daily Bugle, which is on the other side of the map, which sucks going to if you're on the other side of the map. And so you have to go to Peter Parker's house or, or his school. And for some odd reason, every time in this walkthrough, if I have to go to Peter Parker's school or his house, I'm on the other side of the map. But when I'm not on the other side of the map, I'm at his school and, like, house, I have to go to the other side of the map to the Daily Bugle, so every time I go there, I have to go the exact opposite direction to the other place. Which really makes me annoyed because the Daily Bugle is so far away. Yet it only takes about, I don't know, two to three minutes to get there, but it's just annoying. And right now it's showing you the R one. That's, see, that's not the L R. I'm just showing you the R for the controls. And this is where I actually go on top of the, I, th I believe it's the tallest building and the whole entire um, 